Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we got version 11 of Variant Royale, also known as Season 2. So let's get right into this. Starting off with some general changes, you now start with a common pistol and two chug slashes instead of a revolver and a medkit. If we go over to the anomalous waste, you will see that it's started to be cleaned up. These little, I don't even know what they're called, excavators, right? They've started sort of tearing down the place and stuff, digging up all the rubble and such, and taking down any structures that are still standing. And also the rift here has turned yellow now. Over here, Slurp Swamp has turned into Tilted Towers, and the rift beacon has turned blue. And this is an entire location change, all the loot has been changed around the map, so you'll just have to find all the chests and such for yourself. Uh, and also the bears have actually stayed. Uh, there are four of them. Uh, three of them are in here, like one's right there. Uh, there's one in here, and then I think there's one up here. Oh wait, there's also a fifth one. Uh, there's one right here, and then we go into the No Sweat Insurance building. There is one in here. Somewhere, yep, right there. And there's another one. And more. So yeah, there are some extra bears now. Instead of there being the previous four, there's now like seven. So, bears are starting to take over, taking over Tilted Towers. Uh, over here, the studio hasn't really changed much, except the rift is now purple. And then we got another location change, where the Vintertech Warehouse has changed to Viking Village. It's another complete location change, with just completely different loot and stuff. Uh, also, this helicopter that would be on top of Intertech Warehouse has started flying away from Viking Village, and is flying towards this helipad in Tilted. And also the rift here is turned to red, of course. And then over at the aim base, just like the studio, nothing has really changed except for the rift has changed colors. And that's it for the main map, and now onto LTMs. Okay, for the first LTM, we got Summer Shores returning, and this is just the main map. I have made it so you now start with a burst SMG and some chuck splashes instead of the previous. I think it was a pistol, and we know it was a revolver, and a bandage bazooka. And also, I have added a storm to this map finally. So now you can get a storm in this map, and I've actually just mess around and played with this storm and it's actually going to be pretty fun once it gets to the late game but basically yeah we just have the regular Summer Shores map as well as right here we got a gun game LTM for Summer Shores uh, this gun game is pretty short it's only first to ten eliminations I think and it's all controlled right down here so you start off with the gold combat shotgun, then work your way down through Scar, Proximity, Heavy, Dooley's, Tack, uh, Drum Gun, I think that's a Rapid Fire, AR, and a Pump. And also you will glow, depending on what weapon you are, uh, what rarity generally. So once you get your first kill, you'll start glowing gold, and then the second kill goes purple, until you get to the blue weapons, then green, then white, and then you win. And that's really it to this LTM. That's the only really change besides the storm is now a lot smaller and has a lot more of a delay, so you won't really have to worry about the storm quite as much in this LTM. But that's it. And now on to the final LTM, which is the return of Arid Isles. And again, this map doesn't really have very many changes at all. In fact, it is just completely unchanged since the last. Just these limited time maps, like Arid Isles and Summer Shores, those maps just won't really be ever updated very much, just the Variant Royale map is going to be the only one that's really updated. The rest are just going to have LTMs, and that's really it. In fact, Arid Isles doesn't even have LTMs, it just is an LTM. So yeah. You also may notice that I've been wearing this Black Manta skin this entire uh, video, and that does not have any significance to the storyline at all. 
I generally do wear a skin that's significant to the storyline of this these maps, but I'm just saying this one time this skin has no significance at all, though I may sort of work it into having some relation to the Summer Shores map, but that's just about it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.